Let's check this refrigerator. It's a little packed in here. I'm buying the beef down. Let's go to the food pantry and see what we can find. Back to my living room for today's food pantry haul. First up, let's take a look at the meats. We've got this venison ground meat. That's deer meat. We've got this frozen oven roasted turkey. Under the yellow towel, we have the score of the week, so please stay tuned. Now let's take a look at the perishable items. We have some shredded kale, London broil, egg wraps, two salads that look pretty good it's a little shiny but i hope you can see that looks good we have an organic milk we've got honey turkey and cheddar on little rolls curry chicken salad that's a favorite and this is really nice this is raisin rosemary pumpkin i guess those are little crackers a quick tip if you have the option of getting organic milk at your food pantry or or just regular milk get the organic because I've had really good luck it will last one week after the expiration date so far I have not had uh, a lot of milk go bad and sometimes you do get things they're on the edge of expiring and they don't quite make it but the organic milk has been a really good good deal for me so just a little helpful tip let's take a look at the non-perishable items first up we have these instant soup mixes these are really neat looking i've never seen these at the food pantry frontier soups got two of those then we have some pork and beans a four pack of applesauce southwestern vegetable fire roasted soup a big old can of chicken two cans of green beans. We have some peanut butter, some chamomile, vanilla, and honey tea, tomato paste, baked beans, kettle and fire bone broth. That looks really good. And in the back here, we've got this maple granola. I have purchased this from Food Lion before and it's super good. And now for a look at the bathroom supplies. We have two rolls of toilet paper. This is Amazon commercial. That's good stuff. If you happen to buy your toilet paper from Amazon, I would recommend that. Then we have two little bars of ivory soap. And this was a fantastic find. We got one roll of paper towels. So that was just great. Sometimes they have paper products like this. Most of the time they do not. You're more likely to get something like dish soap. We had a big variety to choose from and chose the paper towels. And let's take a look at the countertop perishables. First up, we've got the ultimate cake slice here. I did put how many carbohydrates are on this. And this is one of the reasons I scraped the frosting off because 81 grams of carbohydrate sure is a whole lot. Moving on, we have this coconut cake, 47 grams of carbohydrate. We have the croissants coming in at 34 carbohydrates per croissant. We have this pita bread, 30 grams of carbs. Surprisingly, these cheese-filled cannolis have 13 grams of carbohydrates per cannoli. It is a much smaller serving. So I think this is going to keep me honest and help me moderate how much I'm eating. Definitely going to slice this up and freeze some of these items so I don't overeat on all of this yummy sugar. All right, and just don't forget to write your expiration dates on your canned items, on your non-perishables. It makes life a little bit easier. Here's the score of the week. 
This is some um, 100% grass-fed Angus beef, beef for stew. You know I like making soups and stews, so this should come in handy. Oh, I didn't mean to turn the flash on. Look at all those fingerprints. Right, and the big question is, did it all fit? Almost. We got a whole lot of stuff in here. I had to take the milk that I had left over, put it in a smaller container. That came from the food pantry, the two salads, still working on the soup, defrosting meat from the last haul. We got this broil that fit and we got the little cheddar rolls up here. The new gallon of milk fit right there. A big bag of kale is gonna have to go to my friend's house for storage. Use the resources you've got. If you've got neighbors that have a bigger freezer or refrigerator than you do, ask them for help. You might be surprised at who's willing to help you. I can show you what I do with this ground beef from the prior food pantry haul that I'm thawing right now the meal of the week. Stay tuned. Gotta get my veggies. Look where these are going. Finally, I found something for the big pouches. It's looking pretty good. Dishes are done. Now it's time to cook up this ground beef. All right, gotta get my hot plate set up. We got that plugged in. Okay, we got the ground beef in the pan. We're just gonna brown this up. I take the trash away about once a week. So sometimes when I open up meat containers, it'll really stink up the garbage. So what I do with this is I just put it in a smaller trash bag and I'll tie this off just like that and into the trash it goes. It helps with the stink. It's not like regular ground beef, so I don't know. <laughs> it looks good. We'll find out. It's slowly browning. All right, let's check on this. Oh yeah, it's starting to look good. Okay, adding in the mix. Ain't that a good stir? Time to add a can of diced tomatoes. I'll rinse my kidney beans. Got that covered. Let's make sure this is on the simmer. Got a few more minutes for the simmer. Here, let me show you what I got here. I got this butterfly napkin. It was $4 at my local thrift store, 75% off. I got it for a dollar and I just put it in a little jar so it's cute on the countertop. Okay, let's take a look. This has been on simmer for 10 minutes. Hey, that looks good. That smells good. Look at that. Homemade chili. Everything came from the food pantry that I've had in the freezer or in the provision stockpile. I mean, the chili seasoning came out of my pocketbook from Food Lion. That looks really good. It smells really good. This is a quick, simple meal to make. This is probably going to give me at least five servings right here. Yum, yum. If you like this type of content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.